Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Pokemon Heart Gold Wedlock Challenge. In the last episode, we reached Kanto, even though that's not where we're at right now. And we explored Vermilion City, Saffron City. I think we even caught a new Pokemon. Yeah, we did. And just basically explored the boat and all that. And in this episode, we are going to be taking on not one, but two gym leaders. And it's going to be awesome. But first, I do have to go over the team. I went and trained. I got everybody up. Uh, I don't know how long it took. You can go off of the game time. But I trained against Tentacool and Tentacruel in Vermilion City. A little bit better than Cianwood now. So that's cool. And the whole team is now level 54. Now you might be thinking, well, Lieutenant Surge's highest level Pokemon is 53. Well, there is no level limit in Kanto. I can do whatever I want as long as it doesn't go past 60. So... I trained to 54 because Sabrina's highest level is 55, and Surge's is 53, and we're going to fight them both in this episode, so I wouldn't have to cut to train, do any more training. Now, I did go ahead and change the game clock, like I said, since this is on a series, I can't actually wait, and I want to show these types of things off, so I can go ahead and do Hoenn and Sinnoh sounds now, and I actually have it set to Hoenn, I believe it's on Wednesday, I actually set it so it'll tick over. Yeah, we got five minutes left to Hoenn Sound, and I don't know exactly what you can get here, but I'm not opposed to whatever it is, so. We haven't actually gotten a Pokemon in the Bell Tower yet, so if we go to the Poke Gear and then hit Ben in the top left, he will bring you to the music channel, and this plays Hoenn Sounds. And when you encounter a Pokemon with Hoenn Sounds, you have a little bit of a chance, like 20% chance, or a 40% chance total, to find a Pokemon from the Hoenn region. Instead of, wait, let's turn that back on, it went off. Instead of Rattata, which is the only thing I can get here. So let's go ahead and run around and see what we can end up getting. We have not gotten an encounter for the Bell Tower yet. I guess ho, -Ho kind of counts, but it doesn't. So my encounter for the Bell Tower. Okay, also we can find Ghastly. Well, we can't get Ghastly because clearly we had Gugaries for almost the entire game. So Ghastly doesn't count. Okay, let's see what we end up getting. Does it stay on? You gotta turn it on every time. That's quite annoying. Um, okay. My encounter for the Bell Tower is going to be... Not a Ghastly. Um, okay. I'm starting to think, should I wait till Sinnoh sounds? Come on, because I believe I read you can get Chatot here and Metatite. Which, for some reason, Metatite's a Sinnoh Pokemon in this game. It doesn't make any sense, but hey, that's fine. Alright, my encounter for the Bell Tower is going to be... A, what am I gonna get? Let's see. A Zigzagoon. Well then, <laughs> well I haven't used a Zigzagoon in Omega Ruby, believe it or not. So this Pokemon does count. So let's th throw a Quick Ball at it. Yay! Um, I know you might be thinking, why are you hating on Zigzagoon? Linoon is your fourth favorite Pokemon. You said it is, but I was kind of hoping for something a little bit cooler than Zigzagoon. But hey, we got a Zigzagoon. So. I need a food nickname for this guy. I'm trying to think of food that zigzags, but can't really think of anything. Um, raccoon. What does raccoons like to eat? My mom had pet raccoons when she was younger. Would you feed them? All right, guys, got a nickname for this zigzagoon. My mom had pet raccoons when she was younger. Uh, actually, before they had me, and she raised two baby raccoons. And I don't know if this is human food, <laughs> and. Okay, yeah, um, she said she fed them this. Jack Mac. So we have Jack Mac, the Zigzagoon. It apparently is mackerel fish in a can. And she fed the, po uh, the, the Zigzagoon. Not the Zigzagoon. She fed the raccoon that she had um, named Miko after Pocahontas. So um, it's human food, but my mom says she wouldn't eat it. So let's hope he doesn't make it to the end. Alright guys, here we are in Saffron City. Now, I didn't really mean, I hope he does make it to the end, but um, it's very possible I'd use a Linoon. I really like Linoon a lot, and Belly Drum would be really nice for maybe Red or something, so we'll see. But we're going to go over this route, Route 8, uh, and just get my Pokemon over here. I don't really want to fight anybody. Well, it looks like I don't have a choice. Um, Maybe we'll do this some other time. <laughs> uh, I recall these guys have, like, Coughing with Explosion. Probably not something I'm wanting to fight right now. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, to the I wanted to use Hoenn and Sinnoh sound here, but you can't until you fix the radio tower, which is something I had forgotten about. 
I could go to the left over here and I could get a Murkrow, but you can get a Murkrow on Cycling Road. So I'm going to try and get as many Pokemon as I can. But with that being said, it is time to head south here. We're going to go down to Vermilion and we're going to go ahead and fight the next gym, which is crazy. I'm really excited for this one. I haven't done the Kanto gyms in a long time, and I'm really happy I get to do them for you. I did have to train a whole new team, but hey, we get to do it regardless. So, uh, the strategy for this gym, I don't really have a good Pokemon for this. So my strategy is Lasagna with the choice specs. Like, every ev everything ever. That's the only... Oh, and I got a choice scarf. I said that last episode. Never mind. That's right. Uh, well, in a, in a text on screen I did anyways. But yeah, I'm not going to use the choice scarf for this. But Omelette is back up, holding the charcoal, because I know he has a Magneton. And Shadow Ball's not going to do very much against a Magneton. So I'm going to switch into Mag um, when Magneton comes out in Flamethrower and hope for the best. I have a lot of special defense. I should be fine. I'm not really concerned about this gym at all. And Self-Destruct isn't going to be able to do anything to me because I am part well, I am the ghost type. So my dog is snoring relentlessly. I have not recorded where they're snoring right on me for a long time. Uh, of course. We were on into a wild Pokemon. Uh, I guess I'll show this battle because, well, you know, I've destroyed the lives of many Tentacool. Also, I uh, know nobody's ever accused me or anything, but um, just as proof that I do all of my training, like, I know the, shi the shiny Psyduck and the playtime is pretty good proof, but look at all of my team's special defense. 164, 175, 142, 125, 115, and 177. Like, I know these Pokemon have good special defense, but that would not be that high if I didn't train against Tentacool and Tentacruel all day long for, like, four days straight. So, I just thought I should point that out. Nobody's accused me, and if you did, I don't really care. Because I know what I'm doing, but it's just a really funny thing. Look at all of their special defense. It's ridiculous. I know Lasagna has good special defense by default. I think she has like 105 base speed, special attack, special defense. and But, I don't know, it's just funny to see how high their special defense is. Alright, let's enter the gym. And the famous Lieutenant Surge puzzle. How many times does it take a Chroma to find a switch in a trash can? The world may never know. Alright, let's talk to Champion Making. It's been a while. Yo, Legend in the Making, you lucked out this time. The traps at this gym have been out of order for a while, but the traps are back up and running now. Why lucky, you may ask? Because you can train yourself better that way. Make up your mind and go for Lieutenant Surge. Yeah, so I don't know who I want to fight these trainers with. I'll probably just sweep through them here with Lasagna. I want Lasagna to be as high of a level as possible, because that's who we're fighting Sabrina with. So, Lasagna's getting some big time this episode. Uh, no, nothing here, nothing here. Um, it's always... Like, I don't know, I have to use the bathroom. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Um, I might have to pause this, but hold on. Hold on. Um, the switch is always adjacent to the trash can that the first switch was in. But you don't know which way exactly. Like, it can be in a trash can that you have already checked. Like, right here, here's the secret switch. I already touched this one, but it could be in here. And here's the second one. So we got that right away. See? It's annoying, but... We got it! First try! Yay! What do you have to say about it, Lasagna? Are you excited? Lasagna is very eager. Well, I'm very eager too, but I have to... I'll be right back, guys. I have to, I have to go outside. Yeah, that's it. Alright, guys. Uh, I had to... The door... Yeah, the door was knocking. That's it. Alright. Let's go. Um, What is this? This is a juggler man. Let's fight him, Lasagna. I'm gonna take you down. Prepare to be shocked. Well, this guy's all about the jokes. He's a jokester. Natural-born jokester, and his name is Horton. <laughs> oh, no, he has an electrode. Whatever will I do? Lasagna's gonna do... Hey, I turned on battle animations! Who's proud? You probably noticed that already, but hey. Don't knock my achievements. All right, Shadow Ball Lasagna, you're gonna dec decimate this electrode into oblivion. You have the choice specs on. This thing didn't stand a chance at all. Another Electrode. Hey, I, I never realized this. this I, my mind has just been blown apart. Jugglers have Voltorb and Electrode because they're balls. Did anybody never understand that? Hey, I guess that's a sign of what's to come if you heard the thunder outside my house. We're about to fight the Electrotype Gym Leader. Alright, what's next? Another Electrode. Um, My mind is like blown apart and I don't feel... I feel sick. I didn't realize... That jugglers had Voltorb and Electrode because they're balls. Do they juggle their Pokemon? That's not nice. 
You shouldn't do that, Horton. You should never do that. I was gonna make a reference, but it's not a good reference. I, everybody knows what I'm talking about, so you guys, like, I made it anyway without even making it. Yeah. All right, let's go. What does this gentleman have? He has a Pikachu, if I recall. You're here to defeat Lieutenant Surge? Not if I can help it. What are you gonna do, gentlemen? What are you gonna do? Nothing. You're weak, and you're no good, Gregory. See, uh, I, 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 I come up with these great ideas for jokes, and they just, I just don't say them quick enough, and I'm like, dang it, you know, like, ah, no, I was gonna do a Diary of a Wimpy Kid joke, because it's, it's good books, I'm not a reader, but those were pretty good in school, they helped me through my boring times, yeah, alright, this guy's an Electrike, well, it's nice to see you, Jasmine, even though you're a male Electrike, it's been a while, oh man, I miss Jasmine. Jasmine was great. Part of my Omega Ruby wedlock, if you guys never saw that. It was a good time, even though Omega Ruby wedlock was the first series I did, and it's not my best work. Oh boy. A flaffy decimation reigns from the heavens. Boom. Kill it with ghosts. Yeah. Get it? Because it's not fire type attack. Mm-hmm. Alright. All right. Lasagna, what do you have to say for yourself? You grew to level... No, you didn't. Sorry, I fouled you, Lieutenant Surge, sir. Gregory, you're not good enough. Sorry to tell you this. Alright, let's fight this guy. Lieutenant Surge saw my potential with the electro -type Pokemon. Think you can beat me? Sure. I don't think. I know that I can beat you. You're no good, Vincent Delpino. Anybody seen Doogie Howser? Great show. It's probably my favorite, one of my favorite shows. Oh, no, he has, he has a Jolteon. Whatever will I do, it's going to outspeed me. It didn't. Eat dirt, Jolteon. You're supposed to be fast. Why no outspeed? You're nine levels higher. I don't want to hear it, Jolteon. I don't want to hear it at all. Lasagna, you're level 55. There we go. I don't want to use Lasagna so much, but this episode, Lasagna is going to be pretty high. Well, we'll fight this Magnemite with Omelette. That's kind of the idea here. All right, come on back, Lasagna. Let's go, Omelette. Speaking of Omelette, I, I've been craving one. Like, a really good one, like a cheesy omelet, you know what I'm saying? Like, anybody ever had one of those? Or a spear, or flamethrower. Or a spear doesn't do as much. Yeah, I have the charcoal. Flamethrower is the better option, no matter what. Let's do it. And if something dumb happened and we did knock it out in one hit for whatever reason, we have a chance to burn it. Like, a 30% chance to burn it. 60% chance to burn it? I don't know. Doesn't matter. What's next? They have Voltorb. Well, we can fight a Voltorb too, but I'm not even gonna bother. Let's go, Lasagna. Lasagna is going to be like level 58 at the end of this video. We're going to have some real problems with that level limit thing. I don't know if 60 is a good idea. I said in the description it can be adjusted based on what happens. Because I've never done Kanto in a Nuzlocke or Wedlock before. So I didn't know what problems that we would run into. So 60 is bendable should we have to. Like 62, I don't know. But I probably won't purposely train everybody up past 60, I guess, if that makes sense. Okay, so Lasagna's gonna do this. Um, ghost types are overpowered. I never realized this. Um, just in case, I'm gonna go ahead and give Lasagna Max Ether. Because I can, and I've got them. Where is it? Oh, I bought Moo Moo Milk, by the way, guys. Off screen, when we went to Ecritique City. I went ahead and bought some Moo Moo Milk. Alright, let's go ahead and use Max Ether on Shadow Ball. Let's do this! It's been a while, guys. I'm pretty excited. What do you have to say about it? Let's get up here first. What do you say about it, Lasagna? Are you excited for your first ever gym battle? Very eager for it. Well, let's do this. Let's talk to him. Hey, you little tyke. It may not be very smart to challenge me, but it takes guts. When it comes to Electric-type Pokemon, I'm number one. I've never lost on the battlefield. I'll zap you just like I do all my enemies in battle. Ninth gym leader, a Pokemon Heart Gold Wedlock Challenge in the first of Kanto versus Lieutenant Surge, the electric type gym leader of Kanto. Let's do this. First up is going to be Raichu. Electric type, level 51. Let's go, Lasagna. All right. Let's start this. Shadow Ball. Are we going for a sweep just like we did with Will? I think so. Will it be enough, though? <laughs> No, but seriously, it wasn't actually enough. That's terrifying. Oh, Thunder Wave. I see what you did there, you cheeky Raichu. Eh, get it? Cheeky. Oh, that's not good. I'm joking, but that's not good. So he's going to heal. 
And its special defense has dropped, so I am going to go ahead and use healing item number one of the fight. I'm going to go ahead and just use a full heal. He is definitely going to heal. And since the special defense was lowered with Shadow Ball, I will be able to take it out in one hit the following turn. And we won't be paralyzed moving forward. That sounds like the best idea to me. Alright, Lasagna. Shadow Ball! Gosh, the Kanto Gym Leader music is so good! Oh man, I forgot all about it. So great. See you later, Raichu. That crit didn't matter, but it helps, I suppose. I guess make me feel better, sure. What's next? It's going to be Electrode. Fine with me. All right, Electrode. It's going to be Electric type, level 47. Very weak, very dead. Oh my god, it's faster than me. I should have known. It put up a light screen. That's really bad. Oh no, I underestimated Surge. Hmm. I know it knows double team. I've got to take it out. Oh, God. Double team. Here it comes, boys. Oh, no. This is... I'm joking, but it's scary. All right. It's done. See you later, Electrode. Oh, boy. I'm really scared because I don't know what any of his moves are. I don't know any of that. And I'm really worried what he's capable of pulling off. Next up is going to be Magneton. And that's scary to me because I do have to switch. And Shockwave could probably do a decent chunk to Omelet. I'm going to hope that it doesn't and we're going to switch yeah come on back lasagna let's go omelet i know you wouldn't expect me to send out a flying type in this gym but i do have to do this magneton level 47 electric steel type let's go for it flamethrower burn it that's all i can ask because i know i won't take it out in one hit now not with that light screen up there's no way burn it no, Shockwave, okay. Uh, Shockwave can't paralyze me, so we should be okay. There we go, I knew we'd eat that up real fine. Alright, Flamethrower! And that's it for Magneton. Whew, scary fight right there. But we still have one more Pokemon, but the light screen should be down. It's not. Oh, he has two more Pokemon, that's fine. Alright, we want to take this Electrode out before the light screen drops, because it'll set up another one, and we would like that to be gone for his final Pokemon. Next up is going to be Electrode. Electric type, level 47. Alright, let's go for Shadow Ball. Double team, that's still sketchy. If we miss, he could get up another light screen, and that's going to cause a lot of problems with his final Pokemon. Shadow Ball hits. There we go, Lasagna. Crit, crit, crit. That would be really helpful. Of course not. But we did get the special defense drop, which is nice. And the light screen is going to fade. Charge beam. Excellent. If we hit here, we should be good. Charge beam. That's no big deal. That's not going to do anything. There we go. He gets the special attack raise, which is annoying. And Shadow Ball is going to hit. Yeah! That light screen is down, and so are you, Electrode. See you later. Alright. He has one more Pokemon, and this is his ace. And that's going to be Electabuzz. Alright. Electabuzz, electric type, level 53. It's not over yet. It's just the beginning. That's what you say, Lieutenant Surge. Shadow Ball. See you later, Electabuzz. There's no way it can take this. Wow. I didn't think it would be able to take that. That's kind of sketchy. Thunder Punch could do a lot of damage. Light Screen, it's fine. We should be okay to do it with one more Shadow Ball. Seeing what the first one did, I think we can do that amount of health with one more Shadow Ball. It's all on you, Lasagna. Blast it! Shadow Ball! Critical hit. It might not have mattered. It may have mattered. I'll take it either way. Great work, Lasagna. Level 56. And that's it for Surge. My electric trick. Yeah, see you later, Surge, man. Ah, you're a strong one. All right, kid, you get the Thunder Badge. And Chroma received the Thunder Badge. The first badge of Kanto, at least for him. That Thunder Badge suits those who have defeated me. Take good care of it, all right? There is something else. Here's a great TM for you. And he gives us TM34, and I believe that is Shockwave. Or Double Team, one of the two. Shockwave, yeah, it's Shockwave. All right. Great. Alright, so next up is going to be Saffron City. See you guys there. Alright guys, here we are in Saffron City. 
Went ahead and healed up my Pokemon at the Vermilion Pokemon Center, and I did get a call from my mother saying she bought me an item with my money again. Well, thanks, Mom. All right, let's go ahead and go to the Pokemart and see what it is this time instead of forgetting. And hopefully it's something pretty good. What do you have to give me? He has some Shoppel Berries. Not exactly sure what those do, and I have no idea. Anything else? No, that's it. All right, so let's go ahead and check the bag. I did get some Chardy Berries and something else last episode. I never checked what those did. Um, Shoppel Berries weaken a fighting-type attack. I don't think anybody on the team is weak to fighting. Yeah, nobody's weak to fighting, so that's not really helpful. Uh, Shuk Chukka is super effective ground, okay. Hyapa is super effective psychic, That that's really good to have, actually. Oh, uh, wow. Uh, but nobody's weak to psychic, at least nobody that I'm fighting with. If that, yeah, that makes sense. Alright, let's do it. Alright, let's go head over to Sabrina now. Now, Sabrina's gym is a different case. Let's go ahead and talk to the uh, champion making guy really quick. Yo, legend in the making, a trainer as skilled as you doesn't need to be told how to deal with Psychic-type Pokemon, right? I expect great things from you. Good luck. Well, that's kind of funny because I actually have a friend in real life who um, has gotten into Pokemon and I get a phone call or a text message from him all the time. What's super effective against Psychic? I tell him all the time. Bug, Ghost, Dark. That's it, and he can't ever remember it, and I'm asked all the time, What's super effective against psychic types? Like, I love him to death, but... Oh my god. Cody, why? Anyways, uh... On what I was saying about this gym being a little bit different than the one I was, um, that I just fought, is Sabrina's gym is one of the only gyms in existence where I don't fight all of the trainers. When you have to hunt down all of the trainers, it's not gonna happen. I don't do that, so... Um, let's see, I wanna, I'm gonna put the Choice Scarf, I think, on Omelette, just so I can outspeed should the worst happen. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, I'd be able to outspeed Air Slash. That sounds good, alright. So, yeah, that's what I was saying. Um, yeah, I don't fight all the trainers in here, and because I want to keep the levels kind of lower, I'm not gonna fight any of them if I don't have to. I'm just gonna go ahead and fly through this gym. Um, I just, I've never really fought all the gym trainers in here. I'm trying to think of another gym that well, that's the case. I can't think of one off the top of my head right now, but I know there's at least one more gym that I don't fight all of the trainers in. I can't remember what it is, but... Oh, we made it already. That was... That was easy! Hey! What's up, Sabrina? Can we do this? No, we gotta talk to you from right here. Whatever. What do you have to say about it, Lasagna? It's double header, and you're gonna lead both times. Lasagna is very composed and sure of itself. That is a smart attitude for somebody that could die here. Sabrina's hard, and we gotta fight her right now. Let's talk to her. I knew you were coming. Three years ago, I had a vision of your arrival. You're after my badge. I don't enjoy battling, but it's my duty as a gym leader to confer badges on anyone who has proven themselves worthy. Since you wish it, I will show you my psychic powers. All right! Tenth gym leader, a Pokemon Heart Gold Wedlock Challenge in the second of Kanto versus Sabrina, the psychic type master of Kanto. Let's do this! First up is Espeon. Psychic type, level 53. Let's go Lasagna! Alright, choice specs in hand, or I guess on head. Let's do this! Shadow Ball! I'm really hoping we can sweep her, because this is a hard fight. I'm not sure we can do it. We took out the Espeon with a crit. I don't know if that crit mattered. We've had a lot of them today, but I thank every one of them. What's next? Mr. Mime. This is scary because I believe it knows light screen. And we do not want a light screen up for when we fight the final Pokemon. We have to hit Shadow Ball. We took out an Espeon. Can we take out a Mr. Mime? We do. Excellent work, Lasagna. Oh, man. I know this is kind of anticlimactic, but hey, this is it. it's what I got to do to win. Next up is Alakazam. Psychic type and her ace. Level 55. All right. What will happen after this? I already know. Well, let's hit it. Shadow Ball! Boom. Will it be enough? Alakazam has a lot of special defense. It will be. Great work, Lasagna. You just swept Sabrina. Excellent work. And that's going to not take me to level 57. I get it. Well, that was, that was easy. <laughs> Your power, it far exceeds what I foresaw. Maybe it isn't possible to fully predict what the future holds. Alright, you win. You've earned yourself the Marsh Badge. 
And we get the Marsh Badge from Sabrina. I failed to accurately predict your power. That means your power is beyond my psychic ability. You deserve this. Please take this TM, too. And we get TM48. I believe that is... I don't know. Skill swap. Okay. I thought it was... I thought she gave me trick room for some reason. I guess I'm thinking about something else. Yeah. Well, that's it for these gems. Uh, I guess this is probably a pretty short episode, so I guess we can kind of proceed onward a little bit. I was going to fight Erica this episode, too. Another mother call. Yeah, see? All right, let's go ahead and see what Mom bought us this time. I like the power band. I think she can buy one of those, and that might be useful at some point. I don't know. We'll go ahead and check out the Mart really quick. Oh, man, lasagna. What do you have to say for yourself? You just destroyed two gyms. Uh, Surge is the harder of the two, for sure, for me. Uh, I was looking at all of the gyms, and I've been thinking about it, and my team can handle every gym leader except for Surge. So as long as nothing bad happens, we should be pretty good. Let's go ahead and take the choice scarf off of Omelette. Let's give Omelet. I want to get the King's Rock for Omelet, but I haven't went back to the Slowpoke well. I should probably do that. Uh, let's just go ahead and give Omelet the Metronome. Sure. And Lasagna can hold... What do I want Lasagna to hold? Uh, blah, 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 the Magnet. Sure. Yeah, take the Magnet. <laughs> we'll get better items at some point, I'm sure. Alright, let's go to the Mart. Alright, delivery guy. What do you have for me? Hobbin berries. I have no idea what those do either. You don't have anything else for me? No, you don't. Okay. Uh, let's see what hobbin berries do. Maybe they'll be useful for something. Hobbin berries. Where are they? <laughs> okay. Super effective dragon type attack. So that's not going to be helpful at all. Anything weak to dragon is dragon. So yeah, that's not going to be helpful unless we get a dragonite on the team or something. But yeah, I don't think there's anything that we're ever going to need those for. But hey, you know, you never know. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead over to Celadon City. Let's just heal first. Alright, here we are. Let's just go ahead and go west. I can get a Pokemon here. Uh, I know you can get Murkrow here, but you can also get Growlithe, and that's what I would like, because you can get Murkrow on Cycling Road. Mm, that's tough. You know what, I'll just go ahead and get it. Do I get an encounter? Let's do it. Why not? Do I? Hmm. I'll give it three tries, and whatever I get, I'll take. So let's go ahead and put Omelette up front. Why Omelette? Because, I don't know. Let's put Omelette up front. Sure. Alright, what do you have to say about it, Omelette? We gonna get a new Pokemon here? Why are you mad? Wants attention. Okay, sure, let's play. Spoiled little Omelette. Oh boy, alright. Let's get my encounter. My encounter for whatever route this might be. It's going to be... A Growlithe! Yeah! That's what I wanted! Awesome! I think that's a 5% chance here. I'm not exactly sure. Um, okay. Cool. Let's go ahead and throw a Dusk Ball at it. Oh man, I wish I knew Arcanine's favorite food because I'd totally name this Growlithe after her, but I have no idea at all, so I'm just gonna go ahead and check my list. Uh, yeah, what do I name a Growlithe? Oh yeah, I already know what I name a Growlithe. A friend of mine had a conversation with me before I started the Let's Play on what to name a Growlithe and on, based on one of my foods. So let me go ahead and look at that really quick. I want to find out what it was. I got it. Alright, so it's the Puppy Pokemon. I'm going to go ahead and name this Pokemon... Shepard. As in Shepard's Pie. Shepard, like Shetland Sheepdog. Shetland Sheepdog. It sounds like a dog. I don't know why, it just does sound like a dog. So, we have Shepard the Growlithe, which is really cool. Maybe we'll use him so her someday. I need a Fire-type at some point, maybe. I've got Ponyta in the PC, and I could make Flareon a thing. But, you know, Growlithe is a really cool Pokemon. I really like Growlithe and Arcanine. So, let's go ahead and grab this Pokemon. Pokeball, it's a Mental Herb. Uh, I believe that snaps you out of Infatuation, I believe. Let's just double-check to make sure I'm correct. Yeah, I can only snap you out of infatuation once, so I don't ever see an option where that would be useful at all. <laughs> uh, is there a hidden item up here? There looks like there would be a hidden item here. No, there's not. That's just kind of strange. You can get Meowth here in Soul Silver, but no Meowth for us, unfortunately. And here we are in Celadon City. So now something I want to point out is when I was training, I did save up a whole bunch of to tokens. Uh, when I was getting TMs for my Pokemon, I actually grinded out 50,000, which is the max that you can get. 
And I played a little bit more, so I should have like 20,000 about, maybe? I saved that for so we can get a gift Pokemon here. So let's see exactly what we have. Oh, yeah, I have 19,032. So, uh, Eevee. I already have an Eevee, so I can't get that. I can either get Mr. Mime or Porygon. I used Porygon in Platinum, but not long enough for it to not count. Do I really spend 10,000 coins on a Porygon? I don't want to do that. That's terrifying. Giga Impact. So oh, you can buy Psychic. Okay, I didn't know that. I you can buy Psychic. I'm teaching it right now to Lasagna. I didn't know that or I would have done it. Oh, man. I didn't know you could buy them. All right, let's go and teach Psychic on... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know who's getting it. Yeah, Lasagna is totally getting Psychic. All right. So, Lasagna gets Psychic over Psybeam. I would never waste a TM like this, but since you can actually buy them, I can always grind one out should I absolutely need one. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. I didn't look at all the other TMs. I believe you can get Gyro Ball. Not really interested. I wish you could buy Sludge Bomb and stuff like that, but you can't, so... Um, double team would be nice for some battles, maybe. I'll come back here should I absolutely need anything. And the same items as in, uh, Goldenrod. But we can get a Pokemon. Porygon, Mr. Mime. It's a tough one. It's kind of a coin flip. Um, I'm going to get Mr. Mime because it's cheaper. Because you guys don't understand how awful Volt Voltorb Flip really is. This game is the worst, even with a calculator. It's, it makes me really sick inside, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. I wanna get my best, my chance, my best chance at winning, and I'm not gonna not get a Pokemon, because, well not use Voltorb Flip, because it's awful, that would, I know, I don't know, it's up to you guys really, but let's go, oh, I can show you guys Jack Mac actually, well, and Shepard, now that we have Shepard, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh uh, yeah, here's Shepard in the female's box, all ready to go. Adamant! Awesome! Wait, is that good or bad? I don't remember. I thought Growlithe was a physical attacker. I might be wrong. I'm pretty sure it is. Either way, I would rather not have a special attack lowering nature, but... Only so much you can do. I got Flash Fire, so that's cool. Uh, I'm pretty sure it can have something else. I'm not, I don't know. I, I have no idea. And here is Jack Mac, which has a serious nature. It's neutral and gluttony. So, let's go ahead and put a Pokemon away really quick. Let's go ahead and put um, Panzanella in the PC really fast. And let's go ahead and buy myself a Mr. Mime. Because, you know, they sell Mr. Mime at the game corner for whatever reason. I don't know. Porygon would be really cool. But I did use one in Platinum. Not for very long. But I already gave Porygon a chance to shine. I was going to use Mr. Mime in Platinum. But I actually decided against it. And chose Vespiquen instead. So let's go ahead and give Mr. Mime even a slim chance at being used. No, I don't want to buy another Mr. Mime. Oh, I gotta go back to the name raider to name it. If I use it, I'll do that. It has a timid nature. That's really good. And filter. This is actually excellent. Well, I'll name it uh, if I decide to use it. What does it look like when it follows you? That's something I'm curious about. Put him up front. Put her up front. It's a girl. Now, that's actually ugly. I don't want it now. <laughs> um, I was expecting something adorable. I don't know why I expected something adorable out of a Mr. Mime, but... Sure, I guess I'll name it whenever I... Yeah, whenever I use it. Actually, I've never actually done this, but... um, any of Anybody that um, wants to name the Mr. Mime, leave a food down below. Give me a cool name for it, a cool food name, and whenever I go to name it, I'll go ahead and consult this video's comments, maybe. So yeah, there's that. Uh, this game corner, nothing cool in there. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what else we can do in this city. Like, I could fight Erica. People be like, three gyms, one episode, what? But yeah, come over here. Uh, Snorlax should be blocking the road. I think. Snorlax block? No, Snorlax isn't over here. That's right, duh. Oh, so we can go straight on over here. That's awesome. Let's do it. Let's get my Pokemon. Oh, I have to be on a bike. That's right. Well, fine. I'll get on a bike. <laughs> okay. Is there trainers, like, everywhere? Kind of like in Fire and Leaf Green? Um, let's put Lasagna up front just in case I get into a wild battle. Actually, no. Well, yeah, let's do it. Okay, so I can get a Pokemon here. This is a separate route. So I can go ahead and, yeah, this is Route 16. I can get a Grimer here, I'm pretty sure. So let's just get my encounter really quick. And there it is, a Grimer. I'm so excited to finally get to have one of these in the PC. 
you guys know how much I love Grimer and Muck, so this would be really cool to have. Right, let's go ahead and throw a another dust ball at it. Why not? Let's catch this thing. What do I name a Grimer? Like, that's interesting. Like, I'm trying to think of like a pile of sludge that I would want to eat. I have no idea. Um. Well, I have something I see, but I'm not going to name it that simply because I don't want to eat it. Uh, that was Escargot, by the way. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and check my list really quick. Alright, guys, I got a name. This is pretty fitting, I guess. It kind of sounds sludgy, even though it's not. So I'm gonna name this Grimer. Goulash. Never had it, don't know anything about it, but apparently I wrote down it's a soup of meat and vegetables, so I bet it's pretty tasty. So we have Goulash the Grimer now. I guess it's kind of fitting, yeah. So I know you can go down further on Cycling Road and there's another area you can get Pokemon, and I'm guaranteed a Murkrow there now. But I'm not even going to bother until we actually go that way. Oh, was this a different route? Is a 16. Yeah, it's the same route. So there's probably a trainer back there or something. I'll probably no, never go back there. Not really necessary. Um, Yeah, here's a department store at least. So we can explore that. I don't think anybody gives you a Pokemon here. I know I can get a Grimer here actually. Um, in Celadon City, but I can't now. So, um, Oh, I think that you can get a really cool item back here. I don't remember exactly. Uh, what is this? This is TM67 Recycle. This isn't what I was referring to, but there's a TM back here, so... Sure. Uh, can you go in here? No? You can't go inside? Since when? What is this? It's a large, formidable tree. It looks like it can be headbutted. What? Can you not go back in here, I suppose? No. So, that's where you got Eevee in Fire Red and Leaf Green, but... I know you can't get an Eevee here now, but... I was still thinking you could go back there for something. Let's go inside either way. Oh, uh, yeah. This old lady. What does she do? Oh, my gosh. Neater and female is so adorable in this game. Do you need anything? I'm the manager of the condominiums. It's pretty safe. I don't have much to do. I like to take my Pokemon. Do you have... We have two elevators here. Don't get confused. Okay. So, what does this elevator take me to? Please take this elevator to go to the third floor. I'm pretty sure you can get the GB sounds up here. I don't know exactly what you have to do to get them, but they're really cool. Oh, uh, this is for Game Freak only, apparently. Let's go to the third floor. Why not? I'm not a Game Freak employee. I'm going up without authorization. But, uh, let's see. Lyra, what are you doing here? You don't have authorization. Hi, Chroma. Guess what? The sound designer over there showed me something cool. It's a high-tech virtual machine. Let's do listen to music from the Game Boy. He said he'll give it to anybody who's collected all the Kanto badges. So we have to get all the badges. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, I'm done here. Yeah, waste of time. Do we fight Erica today, guys? Do we, like... Do we really need to fight Erica today? I think it'd be really cool. I don't have to train or anything. It's called Omelette Destruction from the Heavens. But... Do I? Like, I think I'm going to. What do you have to say? High places, I do love them, so... Great. That's just fantastic. Yeah, let's do it. Let's fight Erica. Let's, let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Sure, why not? You guys already knew that I was going to fight Erica because of the thumbnail. And the video title is probably something like Triple Header or something. And the video is probably excessively long. But hey, that's pretty cool. Alright, let's do it. Three Kanto Gyms in one episode. Wow. Alright, let's go. Let's put Omelette up front. I know I don't have the King's Rock like I said I would do. But the metronome will work just fine. I hope. Yeah, let's do it. Yay! Alright, let's go. Do I need cut? Fine. I'll teach somebody cut. Can anybody even learn cut? Because I'm not leaving my team behind. That would make me very sad. Well, I guess now we have cut, we can go to that area that I said I wasn't ever going to go to. Who learns cut? Panzanella can learn cut. Sure. I'll get rid of Leap Storm. I learned that by level up. I never got to show you guys. But I wanted to get rid of it either way. So let's get rid of Leap Storm. Yay. So I would normally use an HM user, but... Might as well just do it. I can get rid of it. As soon as I'm done here. So let's go over to that area I said I wasn't going to go to. Just because I can. I think this guy actually gives me something. So let's talk to him first. And you can get Grimer on this water. That's the only thing you can find here, I'm pretty sure. But it's a thing, so. Grimer started to appear recently. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so he didn't give me anything. Ooh, is the leftovers or something over here? I remember there being an item hidden here. No. Uh, clearly I'm losing my mind. I told you guys, it's been a really long time since I've played the Kanto ver version of this game. So, yeah, let's just go over to that spot where I can cut. I don't know what's over there, but we're about to find out. I'm not going to fight any trainers back here, because I don't want to. 
and it's not in the main route, I suppose. So let's see, what is back here? Oh, uh, this is actually the house where you can get fly in the main game, I think. Fire and leaf green. What do you have to say? If you cruise down Cycling Road, you'll end up in Fuchsia City. Really, I needed a cut to know this. Would you like to hear a trendy saying? So, sure. Very well. The trendy saying say vector. <laughs> sure, I guess that's trendy if you're a GFX. Yeah. I don't know how to vector, but I don't really care. I think my layouts are fine enough. Ah, uh, sure, yeah. <laughs> vector. Great. That was totally worth cutting. I'm pretty sure that has something to do with something. Like, maybe Feebass? I don't know if you can even get Feebass in this game. But that's what it normally has to do with in Hoenn games, so why not? Alright, yeah, let's do it. Let's cut. Let's cut. I've said let's do it like a billion times, but, you know, let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Alright, let's go. Yeah, it took me that much time to cut down a tree. Pathetic. Alright. Yeah. Alright, let's do it. What do, you, what do you say, old man? This gym is great. It's full of strong trainers. He's censored, guys. He normally says, this gym is great. It's full of beautiful women. And he's peeking in the window and he's an old man. Yeah. It's creepy. But either way, let's go inside. Oh, no, I forgot this gym's annoying in this game. Well, dang. No champ in making guy? Oh, yeah, because guys aren't allowed in the gym. That's right. All right, let's go through it. Oh, boy. Why am I doing three gyms in one episode? I'm crazy. I don't really care about length, personally. I don't know about you guys, but... Video length is normally a good thing for me. At least, like, when Marilyn uploads an hour and a half video, which he's probably never done... I like it, you know, so I don't know. What about you guys? I'm probably not as good as Maryland, so you guys don't like my videos as much, but you know what I'm saying. All right, let's do it. Let's fight this girl. I gotta stop, guys. I can't. There's no way I can let some unknown trainer go straight to Erica. Well, I'm sorry to tell you this, last lady, but I'm gonna destroy everybody in this gym in, like, one hit. Skip, Loom. Skip, skip, skip to your dead. Air slash in the face. Yeah. So Air Slash has like a 5% chance to miss. It's going to miss like 100 times. Just going to point that out so everybody knows what's going on here. Next up is a hop it. Do you have a jump bluff, Michelle? Eh? It's pretty funny. All right, let's do it. I can't stop, clearly. I don't know what else to say other than let's do it. All right, whatever. What's next? Jump off! I knew you'd have a jump off, Michelle. Alright. Air Slash! I don't know what else to do! Alright, yeah. Destroy the jump off. It's all happy. It's big face. And it's puffy balls. It looks like those things you see on Yoshi's Island. Speaking of, all I've been doing lately has been watching speedruns. And Yoshi Island speedruns are really great to watch. They're awesome. Alright. Um... I don't know how to get my way through this gym. I'm clearly, I'm very lost. Sure, let's fight this girl. I know you guys probably were not imagining I was going to come fight this one. How can I get you to understand my hobby, which is talking in a deep... What? What? How can I get you to understand my hobby? I talk in deep voice. My name is Julia. I am Roast's girlfriend. <laughs> oh, man. Poor Roast. I miss him. He was great. Should I put the choice specs on? That'd probably be a good idea. Choice specs, air slash, everything. I could choice specs flamethrower everything. Because air slash has a chance to miss. That don't sound like a bad idea. Well, these Parasect and Paris are getting absolutely demolished. Because if they have dry skin, they're not only four times weak to it. They're five times weak to flamethrower. Absolute decimation. Goodbye, Parasect. Fire is definitely not something that you want to see. If you're a Parasect, anyways. Alright, Omelet Grid level 55. Awesome. We're making some big progress through the Kanto region. Like, crazy good progress. Alright, Carnivine? Sure. Let's air slash this thing. Good, we hit. That's all that matters. I really want to go get the King's Rock, so air slash has like a 60% chance to flinch. It's really annoying, but it's awesome. Yeah, I don't know what the exact percentage chance is to hit with Air Slash and have it flinch but with the King's Rock, but I know it's pretty good. Sure, I'll fight her. Do you think this is a girls-only gym and that's rare? What? Oh, do you think a girls-only gym is rare? Well, considering this is the only girls-only gym in the entire series, Tanya! Ooh, she has an Exeggutor. That's kind of sketchy. 
I guess. Like, we should be fine, but... Oh, she's packing some heat! And a meme in the same team. Eh? It's funny because it rhymed. Wow, we just decimated that executor. I feel so bad. Like, we destroyed it. Um, I'm pretty sure Erica's Pokemon pack Sunny Day. So, Flamethrower Choice Specs wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, I know we're just sweeping through this gym, but that's kind of the fun part in it, right? Uh, where do I go? So I can go here. Alright, I'm gonna fight the twins, because I'm a daredevil. Sure, why not? Let's do it. We're gonna protect Erica. Oh, really, little girl? You and your sister are going to protect Erica? You two are little, Joe and Zoe. Vile Plume and Victory Bell? Wow. That's stepping it up a notch. Alright. So I'm going to go for the the definite hit here. I'm actually going to go for extra sensory, and we're going to do that on the victory bell. And I'm going to... Sh Ooh, I have psychic. That's right. And I'm going to psychic the vile plume. I wanted to take one of them out, but I'm pretty sure Lasagna's psychic can take out a vile plume. We are like nine levels higher. Yeah, nice work, Lasagna. Okay, and Extra Sensory probably won't take out Victory Bell, but it'll do a decent chunk, and it might make it flinch. Lasagna's gonna grow to level 57. Wow, we are powering through freaking Kanto with Lasagna and Omelette. I want to let him take a break, but these two are the best pair for the gym. Like, I'm not gonna risk my other Pokemon's lives just to make everybody fight. Like, in a regular battle, sure, but not a gym battle. Joe and Zoe... Uh, Zoe, Zoe, tomato, tomato, caramel, caramel, whatever. Alright, let's see. Um, yeah, let's cut. Oh, we're done here, so it's time to fight the gym leader. Um, don't forget to put the choice specs on. That's a good idea. Yeah, let's do that really quick. And I'm pretty sure I have enough air slash to last me. Plenty. Alright, let's go ahead and put choice specs on. Lasagna is definitely good backup, should we have to switch out for some reason. Where's the choice specs? There they are. All right. Choice specs. Let's go. Air Slash. Flamethrower is probably enough, but Air Slash can miss. So I'm going to use Flamethrower because Air Slash can miss, and then they can paralyze me and do some shenanigans. All right, let's do it. What do you have to say about it? Wait, can I not do that? Whatever. What do you have to say about it, Omelette? Omelette seems a bit nervous. Why are you nervous? You're ready to go. Whatever. Let's do it. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. I'm afraid I might doze off. My name is Erica. I am the leader of the Celadon Gym. Oh, you're from Johto, you say? How nice. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that you wished to challenge me. I know. I've been training myself on not only flower arrangement, but also Pokemon battle. I shall not lose. All right. Third gym leader. A po not third. Eleventh gym leader. A Pokemon Heart Gold Wedlock Challenge versus Erica, the third gym leader of Kanto. Let's do this. First up is Jumpluff, Grass Flying type, level 51. Let's go Omelette. Okay, Choice Specs, Flamethrower. Sunny Day. That's exactly why I did it. You just dug your grave. Flamethrower. Oh, man. Sunny Day, Flamethrower, Choice Specs, Decimation. Oh, man. For anybody that doesn't know, for whatever reason, Flamethrower's power is boosted in the sun. So... Good fight, Erica. Omelette grew to level 56. Awesome. What is next? I don't even know what Pokemon she has, by the way. Next up's Tangela. <laughs> Tangela. No Tangrowth? Really? Alright, Tangela, level 52, Grass type. Ring Out. I don't know how that move works. That worries me. I have no idea how Ring Out works. It didn't do that much. Flamethrower! Okay. Oh, man. Ring out sketchy. I know all of her Pokemon have chlorophyll, so I need to watch out for that. I know I said it dug her grave, but it is going to make all of her Pokemon faster than me. I'm not really sure what she's going to do. I don't think anything she has could do 124 health of damage to me. And next up's going to be Victory Bell. So, Sludge Bomb could probably do some work. I don't... Level 56? Wow. Oh, no. Well, I've got to go for it. It's going to go for Leaf Storm. It's not very effective. That shouldn't do any much. Not much to me. Any much. Yeah, we should be okay. Yeah, great job. Omelette, decimate it. Flamethrower. Wow, we did three gym leaders in this episode. That's really cool. Kanto goes quick. I never realized how quick Kanto goes, but we're almost halfway done with Kanto already, which is crazy. 
I guess not halfway done. Halfway done with the gym leaders, almost. Whatever. Alright, what's next? Final Pokemon, and it's her ace. It's a Blossom. I didn't know that. Cool. Alright, Blossom is a grass type. Level 56. Don't go easy on me. Give me everything you've got. I have no idea what this thing's capable of doing. I'm going to go ahead and use healing item number one of the fight. I'm going to use a Hyper Potion on Omelette. Just because I have no idea what it's going to do. It could do something crazy to me. So, I want to be as safe as possible here. Solar Beam. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to do anything good. Well, that's fine with me. It's not going to do enough at all to take me down to half. Yeah. And the sunlight's still strong. And the decimation is still strong. Omelette, finish this fight. Solar Beam, no problem. Blossom, what are you going to do? Crit me? It's not even going to knock me out, Brohan. You're done zoed, Blossom. Flamethrower! I know it has a lot of special defense, but there is no way. Yeah, there was just no chance. Wow. Omelette put in some work. Great work, buddy. And that's it for Erica. Looks like I underestimated you. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have put up Sunny Day, but I guess that is your strategy. Oh, I concede defeat. You're remarkably strong. I shall give you the Rainbow Badge. And we get the Rainbow Badge from Erica. That was a delightful match. I felt inspired. Please, I wish to give you TM19 as a special token. It's Giga Drain. It is a wonderful move that drains half the damage it inflicts to heal your Pokemon. It is indeed a horrifying move. And we get TM19, which is apparently Giga Drain. And that would be a good attack for Panzanella. But I'm not going to teach it to Panzanella until towards the end of the game. Because I don't want to waste it and then not have it for another Pokemon. Like I always do. Wow, we took on three gym leaders this episode. That's crazy. I didn't think we'd actually do that. I don't know what possessed me to go to Erica, But we did it. And we got a lot done. This episode's probably really long. But in the next episode, we're going to have a lot um, of free will, I guess. So we can go probably to Fuchsia City. We might even fight Janine next episode. I'm not exactly sure. I know Janine's really weak. So we don't even have to train for her at all. So that's kind of cool. I love that. When you don't have to train, it's nice. I'm kind of sick of it by now. But all right, we got out of here. We did it. Yay, we did it, guys. Oh, yeah. So in the next episode, I knew Mother was going to call. I had a very strong feeling. Yeah, so fine. Let's go see what Mother bought us. Whatever. I'm sure it's going to be useful. Alright guys, here we are in the Pokemon. Let's see, what did Mom buy us this time? Charty Berries. So a waste of my time. Because we have so many of those. No further packages. That's great. Alright, let's see. What do Charty Berries do again? Just double checking here. Rock type. Well, nobody's going to fight a rock type. Yeah, so, yeah, anyways guys, if you enjoyed this episode, a like is appreciated. It helps out a great deal. And if you want to see more Pokemon Nuzlocks, Wedlocks, or Pokemon Let's Plays, Feel free to subscribe, and let's have Omelette sign us out. What do you have to say, Omelette? Omelette is happily cuddling up to me. Well, hey, she deserves it. Well, he deserves it. I'm sorry, Omelette. I apologize. He deserves it. Man, after what he just did, that was awesome. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.